Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of Breath of the Wild. So now we're exploring the uh, Gerudo Highlands for some more shrines and whatever else we can get up here. So hopefully we'll get some more good stuff. There's a shrine here that we've already found last time. So let's get this done, and I guess I should actually change my equipment so I'm actually ready for stuff and actually do it properly. There we go. Uh, I have a shield, a bow, not much arrows though. And I guess whatever weapon will work. I've got so many strong ones. Uh, I could also freeze it with the blizzard rod. The blizzard rod is the extra good rod as well. Supposedly. Is it? I'm pretty sure it is. Because there's the ice rod and then there's the blizzard rod. So. Let's see how well this was going to work against you. Oh, like that. Cool. Go, 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 go. That's not actually that effective, but okay. I'm gonna freeze you and then change my weapon. Maybe. Oh, out of the way. Need to try and do this properly. Oh dear, can I? I'm pretty sure I can ice block, right? There we go. Maybe when it's rising up, it can't dodge. Can't break through it. There we go. That's good. Oh my goodness. Take this. Guardian Sword plus is badly damaged and it broke. Okay then, let's freeze you again. And if we get the frost blade out, we can actually do some more like that as well. Just do some damage. Oh, I forgot this is a major test of strength, isn't it? I should actually be probably using better weapons against him. Okay, nice block. One of those should work, hopefully. Yes, good. Do it, do it. Attack me. No, he's doing that then. Does this break my ice? No, cool. <sighs> Just gonna freeze you where you are. There we go. Do some good damage. Do some more good damage. He has a lot of health. And defense, probably. Take this. Okay, doing different things now. So let's stop that from happening. I think he's in desperation time. Yep. Desperate desperation attack. There we go. My desperation attack is also good. <sighs> Just slam him in the face. Okay. Let's grab this. Silver rupee, I'm okay with that. And there we go. Now I can keep exploring. Oh, it's cold. Need to do something about that. Okay. I can probably keep heading in this direction, I think. We might even find another shrine. I, I believe I know there's a Korok in this direction. And a few other things we can do. Let's go with that. There we go. Take out these pebblets. Get some amber, which is good. I needed amber for some things. I should probably also equip the um, the snow boots so I can 
run faster. Just because that's useful. Okay, anyway, over here we have these updrafts. We also need to blow up this rock so we have a better updraft that we can use to get right up this way. All the way over to here where there's a block of a familiar kind. Let's just send these guys flying. And let's try to get this block where it needs to go, which could be difficult because I don't know where it actually needs to go. Don't think it needs to go down. Oh, hello. Rush room. So I think it needs to go up, but I don't know how to get it up. Probably just walking up this way and then magnesis it the rest of the way. In fact, I should probably magnesis it most of the way. So that I can run a little bit faster. Okay, this is where it needs to go. I'm just going to plop that up there and get up so I can look at what I'm doing. Now, it's got to go to match these things. Also, just quickly, I need to get rid of you. Ow. Ah, bomb, bomb, bomb. Thank you. And there goes the amber. But that's okay. Let me get rid of that tablet as well. Okay, this is what the this one looks like. Oh, I think I know where it needs to go, actually. No? Um, what's different about these? Oh. It needs to go in this one. Down in this bit here, if I can. Okay. And there. There we go. Cool. Um, now, where are we compared to my markers? Uh, fairly close. Could be closer, though. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head down this way. Because if we jump down here, just a little way down, is something familiar to us. So we might better get a good picture of this eighth heroine statue, just like the ones in the Gerudo area. Statue of the Eighth Heroine. Because we need a picture of this so it can prove that it exists. I hope that's good enough. I'm pretty sure it is because it had the uh, exclamation point next to it telling us what it was. Anyway, let's get up now if I can. Updraft, 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 updraft. Oh, it only goes so far up. Maybe? Or am I just missing it? No, surely I'm just missing it, right? This has to go higher, please. Please, higher, higher. No, I'm going down. Oh, that was a little bit higher. I can I can climb up normally from here, maybe. If I start looking the correct direction. Okay. So now that we have that, we can head back to Gerudo Town for a reward, presumably. But we also need to explore the Highlands a little bit more. So we're going to head to my markers now. Probably. Actually, can I go out? I think I can go along the outside here to one of my markers. And I might have made a mistake. Let me... Um... I did make a mistake. Oh, I made a terrible mistake. I made a horrible, terrible, absolutely bad mistake. I... I'm upset with how badly I messed up. <laughs> That's how bad it is. We'll get to that in a little bit. Just how badly I messed up. So for now, let's just get rid of this guy. And actually, if he has what I need, that'd be great. I don't think he will, but he might. Please? Nope. Okay. Well, I had an icy Zaphos tail, and I need those, I'm pretty sure. For some stuff. Now, this looks like a Korok. But I need another rock up here, I believe. Uh, there's one down there, but I don't think I want to get that one all the way up here. Probably. Maybe I do. <laughs> Maybe this is just the most... 
Oh my goodness, this is going to take a while to get this one Korok. Well, this is a good view from up here, looking at the rest of the world. This is fairly high up. It's one of the highest points in the world, in the Highlands. I can see quite a lot. Okay, they do want me to get this all the way there. Because this wasn't a Korok by itself, so it must be. Because they need to get this rock all the way up there. And I don't even think I can see this outline of the thing for this rock on my, on my map. This is a very well hidden Korok, I guess. Now I'm going to see if I can throw it up from over here. Otherwise I'm going to have to do something else to try and get it up. No, it's up there. Okay. All that for a Korok. Please, thank you. Oh my goodness. 56 Korok seeds currently. Need more than that though. I also need to keep an eye out for treasure chests if I can. Okay. I love this view. I really like it a lot. Now, have I taken a picture of these before? Yes, I have. Winter wings. Butterflies. Okay, take you out, please. And take you out, please. Guiding Spear Plus Plus is almost broken and it broke. Oh, hello. Um. Let me use. Oh my goodness, you did a lot of damage. That's probably because I'm not wearing a great. Great armor. That, that's going to do a little bit better. Still probably want to heal though. So let's do a little bit of that. And some of the basic stuff that I just happened to pick up. There we go. Oh, stop backing up. Stop backing up. Don't you realize there's a cliff behind you? There we go. Take his club. And what happened to the other one? Oh, it's there. Not for much longer, though. Gonna go down and beat him up. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? There we go. So anyway, now that we're here, uh, we need to go up a little bit further because I went I'm too far down currently. But I think we're close to the yellow marker now. Okay, up we go. Oh my goodness, look at all these platforms that we could have used. That we really don't want to. But anyway, there's a thing up here. With... Bird things, maybe, around it, and uh, lightning effects, <laughs> symbols. Um, but I, uh, I used my shock arrows already. <laughs> I lost my shock arrows, so either I can do this another way. Actually, maybe? I don't know about this. Is if I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try a few things to see if I can get this to work. But you're supposed to shoot the middle with a shock arrow. But I don't have that, so I'm going to have to figure something else out. Let me just get up here to start off. Okay. I wish I could make shock arrows. Uh, let go. Please stay here. Okay. First first thing I'm going to try. Obosis Fury. Okay, that didn't work. Oh dear. This is bad. I don't want to have to go all the way back here. Um, 
Oh dear. Yellow choo choo jelly? There it goes. It's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. Ah, I don't have shock arrows and I need shock arrows. There's not gonna be any trade chest around here to give me any conveniently, I don't think. Yeah. It's a shame I shot my last two trying to get the dragon. Um, let me just qu quickly go down this path to see how easy it is to get back up again. If I needed to. Oh, it's a, it's a steep hill, and I, now I have to go back up anyway. Um, yeah, I might as well go down this way. Oh my goodness. And there could also be Koroks around here somewhere. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. It does lead all the way back down to the Ridgelands region as well. So we just went from Grudo to Ridgeland by going over the mountain. I mean, that's cool, but also I need shock arrows. Let me check this. Radiant shield, I don't need that. Actually, there's... No, I don't think you would have shock arrows up there. Not unless I was extremely lucky. Let me just go down here, I guess, and see if there's any uh, Koroks that are just around. Um, and then I'm going to go find some shock arrows, probably. Uh, there's a whiz robe. But it doesn't seem like there's any Koroks here, which is surprising, maybe. Actually, hang on. Okay, that's nothing. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. This area feels like in the middle of nowhere, which I guess it is. Ah, is this a car rock? There's a hole. But I don't know if that is actually a car rock. I don't know how it could be. Unless there is a rock that I can actually move somewhere nearby. Let's get out Magnesis. Oh, I wonder if there's one in the water. That would probably be where it would be if there is one. This is completely unknown to me. I've not been in this area before. Um, I'm going to say no, and I'm going to go get shock arrows. So, I think... Where is a good place to get shock arrows? I think I can buy them at Zora's Domain, maybe? The, uh, uh, what's it called? The Gerudo Town shops have a variety of arrows, so maybe I could go there as well. But I'm like, sure. No, they sell ice arrows here. Okay, then. Gerudo Town it is, and I can actually return the picture that I got of the 8th heroine. Also, while we're here, I just want to quickly uh, climb the wall, apparently. Probably should change my outfit. Oh, actually, wear it, please. And if we go over here... No, it hasn't grown yet. Okay. I would have thought it would have been done by now, but nope. I have to wait a little bit longer. Let's go talk to the person about this picture. Oh, oh, thank goodness, you made it back safely. You were gone for so long, I started to feel the worst. I have come, have to come clean. The 8th heroine is just an urban legend. It doesn't actually exist. I, well, I want to, an excuse to get close to you, you know? I wanted to keep you engaged, so I just thought up something impossible to hold your interest. 
And as a result, I put you in harm's way. I'm a cad, and I've always... I've been so, so worried. I won't put you in danger anymore. From now on, I'll be your protect. Found it. Uh... Are you trying to console me because I've been so heartsick over this? You're such a kind soul, but no need to coddle me. From now on, I'll... Look at this. Just look at it. That certainly is the way it was rumored to look. That... That's amazing. I thought it was just an old wives' tale the Eighth Heroine actually exists. If the rest of the world knew this, it'd be an absolute bed... Uh, it'd be absolute bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Uh... Yeah, that way, it would just be our little secret, right? Sort of bonding thing. And yeah, it's... If it's okay, I'd like you to take this opportunity to ask you... Sand boots, please. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just a second, I'll take them off. And we get the sand boots with sand speed up. Rudo artisans modify these boots for life in the desert. The special soles distribute your body weight evenly so you can maintain your normal movement speed on sand. <laughs> Treat them as tenderly as you would me. Ahem. And now could you be a lamb and return my snow boots? Otherwise old those eyes are going to be barefoot. Alright, we're done here. Boy, but these will make running in the sand pretty difficult. And I'm pretty tired anyway from jogging... Uh, my jog jogging, re jogging regimen. I think I'll just park myself under the tent in front of Gruda Town and take five... And take five. Care to join me later? Goodbye. Huh? Oh, good. Goodbye. So unfortunately, we've just swapped the sand, the snow boots for the sand boots, which the snow boots I would say are more useful. Next time, maximum woo. You, you came. I mean, hey, hey, yeah, of course. Figured you swing by. Yep, do the old swing by. We didn't get a chance to spend much time together earlier, did we? Whoosh! Total whirlwind. So, want to hang out? I want snow boots. What? You want my snow boots too? Ha! Huh. Well, aren't we greedy? Or should I say... In... Uh... Satiable. For boots. A boot thirst that, that cannot be slacked. Adorable. But listen, if I give you these, then I'll have nothing for my feet. Oh man, what should I do? Think, Bozai. Can't put her in a bad mood. Okay, do not blow this. Just relax and work a little verbal magic. Ah. How could I, re I resist a request from you? No lie, you really gave me a surprise earlier, and I love surprises. Surprise me again like that. And I'll give you these snow boots as a surprise present. Hmm. So let me ask you this. Did you notice that the statue of the 8th Huron isn't actually holding a sword? Pretty weird, right? Seven other heroines, and they all have their swords. Suspicious, you know. Which leads me to deduce that the 8th heroine must have had a sword as well. Must have. Uh. To see that uh, such a sword actually exists, what... Uh, that my dedication is right. Deduction is right. There could be no greater surprise. I'll go look for it. What? You really are going? Wow, alright then. The sword would be pretty big, so I doubt it could have been carried off too far. I'm betting it's probably somewhere in the ste steeps of the Grudo Highlands. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I can't lend you the snow boots this time. Just can't do it. I'm really sorry. No way a normal person can make it through the Gerudo Highlands without good snow boots. She'll probably give up halfway through and come crawling back. Ah. Fine, you win. So headstrong. I love it. I'll just be waiting here, okay? If you ever need me for anything uh, above and beyond footwear, 
You just come find old uh, Bozai anytime. So we can get the snow boots back if we do stuff for him. So let's go back. Oh, actually, I need to get <laughs> what's it called? Shock arrows first before going back up there. Probably a good plan. So, over here, they sell every kind of... This is the best place to get arrows. I really need to just remember that. Let's get all these. 428 rupees for 30 shock arrows, of course. And now let's go back up to our shrine that we got up there so we can continue from there. Because the sand boots, they're good for, uh, what's it called? They're good for the Gerudo Desert, but then after that, that's pretty much it. Whereas the snow boots, there is a lot of regions, diff different regions that have snow areas, and a lot of them, like two of them, are pretty much completely snow areas, so the highlands and the Heber region are completely covered in snow. There's also Mount Lanayru, uh, the Great Plateau. Just so many things. Anyway, let's actually head up this gigantic snow ramp over this way to head up to where we need to be instead of going up that way. I guess I could go up that way. Anyway, either way works, so let's just keep going. So yeah, we're gonna have to get the stuff for the snow boots without the snow boots, so we're going to be going a little bit slower through the snow, but once we have those snow boots, snow boots back, we're probably going to keep you able to keep both, probably. I hope so. I hope it's not a just trade back and forth boots thing, which I guess would be okay because it's a thing. So what I'm trying to say is, um, just so I'm explaining what I'm actually talking through. So I don't know if he's actually just going to give us the snow boots after we do this quest. It could be that he's going to swap the sand for the sand boots again. But I think if he does, that means we can also just talk to him to swap between them anytime. Probably. But hopefully we just get to keep both. Because that'd be good. Okay. Let's keep heading up this way. Maybe even shoot these wolves. Put some raw gourmet meat and some frozen or icy gourmet meat. Also somebody, uh, one of the side quests wanted some gourmet meat so I need to get that up to that person. Then He wanted it raw as well. Also I need to probably remark where that thing is. I think it's there somewhere. Probably. For the mark on the wall where I needed the shock arrows. Uh, I think I'll do that after though. There's also a Lionel up here. Who I, I wondered if he would give me shock arrows if he shot at me enough, but I, I don't actually know if I can actually pick up shock arrows after that shot. So for now, let's just go past him, probably. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. I need to go this direction. Right past this... Lionel. And I can't freeze him. Falcon Bow broke. Oh dear, this is not good. Um, let's eat some food. Probably a good plan. Ow, he's doing a lot of damage. I might actually need to use my creamy heart soup. Unfortunately. But, you know, it's not a full heal, so... Oh dear, get past, get away, get away, get away, get away. Also, my uh, my full heals are better anyway. But anyway, right up here on the map is the sword that we need, so let's get a picture of that so we can uh, get the snow boots back. And now let's go back to that uh, marker thing that I missed last time. Carl, oh, please grab the rush room. Where's that other marker? There. Also, I apparently marked that the wrong way. That's fine. It's actually fairly close to the blue one. So I might go to the blue one first. Just because I can. 
And I think there also might be another shrine somewhere way up on top of here. Which would be good to, be, to make it easier to get around. I think, I think that there is a shrine. If I'm not forgetting, or if I'm not remembering things wrong. So I'll go to that at some point. It could also just not be any of those things I just thought it was. Could be nothing. And that'd be a shame. But I think it is... Oh my goodness, there's a skull down there. And there's the rocks I need for the Korok, probably. Let's head across here. Oh my goodness, they're just on the side. Okay. Oh, my falcon bow broke. That's not good. Because that's a lot more... Um... On point. Oh my goodness. Why enemies everywhere I go? Everywhere I go, enemies. I need a rock. I need many a rock. I need to match this pattern on both sides, probably. So this one goes right over here. And there we go, Korok. And that enemy is going to hit me as soon as I get out of this thing, isn't it? Oh, dodge. Or not. That didn't do much damage at all. Also, I, I, can, I can see... I can see a thing from here. Hang on, I need to take this thing out so that they despawn. There we go. I can also see from here that there's a shrine over there. Just all the way down there. Okay, we'll get that at some point. Uh, did I mark off the Korok here? I think I did. Let's go get this over here then. And actually, if I equip my stuff before I glide down, I can quick time in midair to shoot it. So let's do that. Also, I think... Oh, the blue's the, that one now. Also, how am I going up? Oh, because the dragon here is here. Um, can I do that instead? Please. Oh, it's too high up. Oh, but I did get it. Where's it going to send its thing, though? Oh my goodness, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. I'm not going to be able to get that anytime soon. Hang on, here, let me do this first. And then work out everything with that piece of horn. Okay, and then shoot that there. Okay, I'm going to activate this and then get so I can get the teleportation here, and then I'm going to go down for that piece of horn that's gone flying off into the distance. I wonder how far that could fly off. Because I need that. Anyway, here's the shrine. Go, 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 go. Need to go down quickly. Activate that, okay. Let's find that piece of horn. Wherever it went. Is it down there? Oh, I have no idea where it is. It might have even despawned if it went far enough. Oh, that's not good at all. That's kind of depressing, actually. I don't even know which direction it went. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Really bad. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. I am not happy with this at all. Of course, more enemies as well. Yay, my favorite. So I guess I'm going to have to reattempt getting the horn. Because, um, there's no way I'm going to get it. Because I don't know where it is. It's probably actually up on the path, but I... Oh, it's just not going to work anymore. I have to refine the dragon and do that again. Anyway, I think that's probably it for this episode. 
uh, it's been a it's been a time. This whole this whole episode's been a time. That's all I can say, really. Because I'm having to get shock arrows again and losing the dragon's horn, and losing my boots, but getting new ones, I guess. So anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.